Hey everybody, Yuma here again with another Moonlight Blade mobile video. Uh, we're going to be covering the mentorship system this time around because um, I know there's a lot of confusion on certain points of the mentorship system. Uh, I just know that for apprentices, you can have up to three masters as well as one personal mentorship. And then for masters, you can have four apprentices and two personal um, apprentices. I actually have yet to experience the personal mentorship apprentice system. Um, all I know is that you have to be currently no, um, there can't, you guys can't be existing mentorship and apprentices to do the personal mentorship option. Um, so just keep that in mind. All my apprentices, I already invited to be an apprentice. Um, if you want to go down the personal mentorship route, you have to make sure that you guys aren't already an apprentice and mentor, and then just press go. It'll auto path you to the NPC. Uh, I think you guys have to be in a team. The apprentice has to serve as a team leader, from what it says. Um, and then you can probably request a personal mentorship that way. Um, but yeah, we won't talk about that right now. We're just going to talk about the benefits to having uh, apprentices. There's not much benefits as an apprentice. You can get some crude jades from uh, this function here. If your more mentor passes on prowess, you can get some crude jades, which will help you with your uh, your master, your meridian. Sorry. So stuff like this. Uh, and then you can also convoke for tail. They can make you a little bit stronger for tails um, in case you're weak. They have that ability. But uh, mentorships really just lose their um, benefit. I'm oh, sorry, apprentices really don't really have much, much benefits compared to being uh, a mentor. But we're going to talk about the milestone quest as an apprentice. So I don't think there's really much of a requirement. I think you just have to be a day or two days old as an apprentice. And then you will have your milestone quest pop up in this section here. You can actually just do all three in a row. I have another video just sh showcasing the um, milestone quest. And if you do all the milestone quests and nothing else, you'll get up to 300 points um, for the meant uh for your apprentice mentorship function so we're going to talk about the points actually here if you look at the graduation rewards yeah so if you get you would be at 300 points you would have earnest exhortations and as you can see there's different levels of um how how much you've done with your apprentice and the more you do with your apprentice the more points you get and eventually you can get up to this amount eight thousand mentorship points which is which is a huge jump um which i have with soju here who's at 2300 we're about to do the graduation uh, in a minute but uh it's it's nice to if you're like at 1800 just to hold back the graduation because it doesn't really take that long to get to 2000 um and then just graduate at 2000 for the extra 3200 points um a lot of people are questioning, like, when do I graduate? Like, how do I graduate? Now, to graduate, you have to be uh, an apprentice or your apprentice has to be with you for 14 days. So in two days, Justice can also graduate. But I need to get his points up. As you can see, he's zero. He's one of my alts. <laughs> but, um, yep. And then another thing you should look at is the mentorship quest. Make sure you always get this maxed out you can get 2000 weekly uh best thing i always do is just do tails with it you can always go on um on a tail spree just to finish these quests not a big deal and then for the remaining um mentorship points that you need you can always just do floret with them floret helps it's not in this weekly section but um if you do the must do weekly activities Oh, sorry, limited at time event here. The fluorite will, will boost your mentorship uh, pretty quickly as well. And of course, you can always do the five escort, five bounties, 
uh, if your apprentice is within your fellowship because you'll have the fellowship weekly quest as well um, so it's just a nice way to kind of get everything done to you know kill two birds with one stone sort of thing uh the graduation quest as you can see here shows you the the rundown of the points as well uh, now the reason why you want to have apprentices and all that jazz is to access the mentorship shop right here and you kind of want to buy everything here all these books give you stats in your homeland it falls under the book collection the very bottom so you can get one plus one stats so two stats here four stats here eight stats here and ten stats here just for getting these uh mentorship books so it's something you just don't want to miss out on of course you don't really have to but you know if you want the extra stats then you sh you should and there's also see some um accessories as well in, in case you want to increase your charm and you do need four or more graduated apprentices to get this costume i don't really i don't really care for the costume but it is nice to have just to increase your charm value everyone's trying to get more charm to unlock uh, more costumes and charm shops and stuff like that this this one right here is it this one i'm tripping Wait, this actually kind of looks good in my eyes now in the rain <laughs> but uh yeah mentor point i shop so it's fairly simple um not much else to say about it i would say just know that you have three milestone quests which your apprentice can do oh caveat your apprentice can only do the milestone quest with one master so if they do the milestone quest with one of the masters their other master cannot do it just to let you know that um, as for graduation, the graduation you can do with everybody. It won't. The graduation the first time will show up here, the notification for apprentices, but the apprentice will no longer see this. So you got to memorize the location of where the graduation starts, which I'll show you right here. It's actually, if you remember the Koi Buddha quest, it's literally the same place where the Koi Buddha quest is. You can see the Buddha right there in the distance. I don't know why the autopath is making me go such a long way. I guess there is only one way to get to the Buddha. But this is where the graduation takes place. And here's the graduation usher NPC right here. So apprentices should remember this is where you have to go to actually graduate with your mentor. And the, again, your apprentice has to be the leader for all these uh, quests. And they'll be able to jumpstart the, the process for you. So we're going to actually do that right now. Um, the soju the graduation quest uh, invite your master perfect wow what happened time skip <laughs> from rain to sunlight all right here we go A little bit of a janky cutscene. So here we are. Yunhaifantung,旭日东升。观此天地之圣景,能让人心境开阔。原来。你选择出师,走自己的路,我很欣慰。愿你今后仗见天涯,做尽兴之事,不留遗憾,不负红尘。不留遗憾,不负红尘
Oh, wait, I'm lying. I did lie with you. <laughs> there we go. I guess these are unlimited. So that's the only thing you guys can buy at, um, once you cap out on everything else. I guess I'll be saving for this costume. But once you graduate, um, your soldier will disappear from my uh, apprentice viewing. But my apprentice will still see me as their master. It'll just say graduated. But that's pretty much it. Not much else to it. Fairly simple. Let me know if there's any questions or anything I didn't cover. And we can always talk about it. Thank you so much. Until next video. Cheers, guys. Lots of love. Soldier, get out of the way. There you go. <laughs>